Okay, I gotta show you this new automation and you're gonna love it. There's a whole backstory, which I'll tell you about in a second, but this is triggered by a new order in WooCommerce. The product we're looking at is Fluent CRM. And when you have a new order come in, I'm saying, hey, I wanna check to see if this is a first time course buyer. So when I come in here, all I'm looking for is, hey, did they buy any product that was in the courses section, right? Like in the courses category. Now you'll notice it says first purchase, second purchase. That won't matter because someone who buys a sweatshirt first and then maybe a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and then comes to buy a course, they would not be a first time buyer. They'd not be a second time buyer, but they would be potentially a first time course buyer. So I have to ignore those pieces and go to the next, which is a conditional check. Now, when I started looking at Fluent CRM and the conditional check, they didn't have this feature, okay? They, this, this didn't exist at all, right? And what happened was if I go into the or and I come and take a look at this and I go into WooCommerce and then I look at purchase products, right? It has a, hey, you know, what products? The problem with this query right here is it just goes and finds this contact and then looks at all their historical purchases, which includes the order that just happened, right? So if I said, hey, do you have this in, in their history? It's not saying history before this order. It's just saying, look up that contact and look at all their orders and all their stuff. So I'll never be able to know if they've ne if they've ordered this before, right? And so you go, no, that is that is not what I that is not what I want, right? Um, so I'm gonna delete that one, right? So what did I want? What I really wanted was to go look in the history and look at specific products and see if the count was more than one. Now, why would that be? Well, in this is a sample, but in my coaching program, people might sign up for coaching, do it for three months, then leave. And then six months later or two years later, sign up for coaching again. The second time they sign up for coaching, I don't want to do the onboarding stuff, right? I just want them to go, oh, welcome, you're back. So I need to know if the count is more than one. And that's what this does. It says, hey, look for specific product and then see if it's greater than for this product greater than one. If so, right, then what I can do is come over here and say, hey, if it is not greater than one, meaning first time buyer, then I can add the tag that says first time course buyer. If it is more than one, then I can say no. Now you can imagine from there, onboarding, emails, everything else, there's lots of fun you can do. But this is, and you'll notice that they were doing ORs, which means have they bought this before or this before or that, like look for any of the courses and see if their count is more than one. If not, they get this tag. If, if so, they don't get the tag and just wrap up the stuff. Now, what's cool is this didn't exist on Sunday, right? On Sunday, I couldn't figure this out. And then I contacted Jewel and we went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because he was just thinking I was asking about when I look up a historical record of, you know, all the purchases, will it show everything there? But I couldn't articulate the no, but I don't want it to show the current order that's triggering this workflow. And so we had to go you know, describe it, describe it a different way, describe it a different way. And finally, after, I don't know, an hour and a half, he was like, aha, I now get exactly what you're looking for. And uh, what you probably want is some sort of count, right? If it's greater than or less than, and I go, yes, that'll be great. That was Sunday, today's Tuesday. On Monday, they coded it up. On Tuesday, the new release included this little feature for me. Now, is it because of me? No, it's because of him. Because he figured out that there was uh, a little easy thing he could add to his product that would allow me to do something that was important. And something that, frankly, other people are gonna need to do, right? So it was fantastic. And I know you're gonna love it. I know you're gonna love, if you're not using Fluent CRM, right? And your site isn't getting massive amounts of traffic. Because if your site is getting ridiculous amounts of traffic, then you may not want to do CRM on your website, okay? But if you're getting a you know a decent amount of traffic, um, you're not running these uh, automations every second, sub second. Um, this site gets twenty to fifty thousand you know visitors a, a, a month, but 
They're not all in the CRM. They're not all interacting. They're mostly reading. And the number of people that go through these automations are way, way less. And so I'm very comfortable using Fluent CRM here on the site. And I have great hosting because, of course, Nexus. So anyway, I thought you'd love it. It's very, very cool. Um, check out all the new features that came in. I didn't even tell you the fact that they got new reporting loaded in into the CRM for LearnDash. That's a whole nother story another time.